Okay, Sony ZV-E10 with the 16 to 50 kit lens, which has in-lens stabilization. The Sony ZV-E10 does not have any in-body image stabilization or known other, otherwise known as IBIS, but it does have digital, which is not that great. But anyway, the purpose of this video, at the time that I picked up this camera, uh, by it being an interchange interchangeable lens camera, I decided to pick up another lens that maybe I would probably keep, that I would want to keep on most of the time, 90, 95% of the time, besides the kit lens. I would put the kit lens back on if I wanted to, you know, keep it light. But I picked up this uh, 18 to 105. This is an E-mount. Uh, this is a G lens. It's not the G Master or Premium lens by Sony. Uh, not the worst, not the best. But I like the 18 to 105 that it has, the 18 to 105 millimeters. That was attractive to me. And it has a power zoom and it has in body, this is as in lens stabilization. Yep, optical steady shot. So I say, hey, inter interchangeable lens, I might as well pick up another lens and that's what I did. But I'm going to be um, doing a test in 4K and 1080p. I'm gonna test out the rolling shutter. Uh, one thing, this is being filmed on the ZV-1, by the way. But I'm going to be, okay, a plane is coming. I'm going to be doing some tests with both of these lens, lenses, some stabilization tests. Um, and I'm also going to be doing some rolling shutter tests on both of these lenses in 1080p and in uh, 4K. I heard the 1080p uh, does not have that issue with the rolling shutter too much. But leave your comments in the uh, comment section. Let's go ahead and uh, get this video started. Okay, first I'm starting off with 1080p, 30 frames per second. I have the kit lens, the 16 to 50. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the uh, lens, but I keep on you all, but keep, I keep looking at the red recording border around the ZV-E10. I like that, kind of reminds me of my uh, Panasonic S1H full frame camera. That's a really nice touch. I really like that. But this right here is just going to be this part right here is just going to be like a, a vlog style walk and talk type of thing. And I'm just walking normally. I'm not uh, doing anything like that. I'm just, you know, uh, standard steady shot is on, by the way, on the ZV E10. And I'm just walking normally. I'm not just walking like super steel or anything like that and I'm not you know just walking normally like normal vloggers let me look at that lens and I'm holding it with the uh, Sony grip the GBDDD whatever that is <laughs> that's a hell of a name for that uh, Sony vlogger grip Okay, now I'm going to do the um, rolling shutter test in, um, in this 1080p on the ZV-E10. It's not really, it's not a big deal in 1080p. And don't let this, don't let rolling shutter be a deterrent from, from buying this camera. I mean, who films like, like, uh, all this. But let's go ahead and do that right now. This is 1080p. Let me show you another way I'm going to do this too. This tree right here. See? Rolling shutter. No problem. 1080p. Very little. But again, who films like that? I have standard steady shot on, just standard stabilization. The kit lens does have a uh, type of in lens stabilization. And I'm not using uh, active for this test. Big 
big tree. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to 4K 30p. Okay, now I'm in 4K 30p. Standard, stabilize, standard stabilization. This is just doing a, I'm just walking normally as I did in 1080p. Okay, rolling shutter test time. Here we go. Again, don't let this deter you from buying this camera because who films like this again? Show this tree right here like I did in 1080p. Again, who films like this? Just here's just a normal pan. And a time to this is a good time to uh, this is a good time to a plane is just half just hap, a plane just happened to be coming by. One second. Go, 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 go. Okay, yeah, don't let this uh, make me forget my thought. Don't let that rolling shutter be a deterrent from buying this camera. Because uh, this, this, is a, this is a great camera. I think this is a great camera. And the rolling shutter, I mean, this camera has a slower sensor readout than the uh, ZV-1. But again, 1080p, no problem with rolling shutter. And it may not be a problem to some, I mean, if you, I mean, it may not be a problem um, for you all in uh, 4K as far as that rolling shutter. Again, who films like this? Just normal. Just normal, you know. Well, let me go ahead and switch over to the uh, one of the uh, 105 millimeter lens, the Sony G lens. Let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and switch over to that and see how that performs on that stabilization front and the all the other tests that I just did with the uh, this kit lens, the 16 to 50. Okay, I've got the 18 to 105 Sony lens on now, 18 to 105 millimeters. And this lens has a uh, obstacle, no, obstacle. It has steady shot on it. <laughs> Let me get that name right. <laughs> Where is that name on here? Optical, yeah, optical steady shot. Sorry about that. This lens does feature that. I think it's pretty good. Let me show you something real quick on this lens. I want to zoom in this power zoom. Now I have standard stabilization on the camera on. Now this is the, uh, I'm all the way out at 100, 105 millimeters. Look how steady that is. That's pretty steady. I'm pan down. And it has a variable zoom too. I can go slow. And I'm operating the power zoom directly on the lens. I can go slow or I can go fast. Zoom in slow. That's why I said this lens will probably be on my camera most of the time. But let's get back to the little vlog style. Walking and talking. Checking out the stabilization. Again, this is in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Let's do that uh, rolling shutter too. Again, 1080p is probably just going to be the same as the uh, kit lens, the 16, 16 millimeter 
16 to 50, I forgot, something like that. 16 to 30, I believe, something like that. Okay, let me show you the tree again. As far as the rolling shutter, it's probably going to be the same thing as, a, as I said on the kit lens. And the sound that you're hearing is coming from, again, that was showing that part from the tree, the same as the uh, kit lens, as far as the rolling shutter. So how's the stabilization look on this camera compared, I mean on this lens, the, the 18 to 105 compared to the uh, kit lens? And this, this is uh, standard stabilization. And how does the audio sound on the, uh, I know this is not about audio on the camera, this is about the lenses, but how does it sound? I'm using the onboard audio of, of the ZV-E10. No problem with rolling shutter in 1080p. Very, very little. This can get this can get tiresome to holding this out like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to 4K and do the exact same test. Okay, I'm now shooting at uh, 4K, 30 frames per second on the Sony ZV-E10 onboard audio. I got the little, like slight little breeze blowing out here now and then. I have the little wind, wind sock, wind muff, or whatever you want to call it. Again, testing out the stabilization of this uh, Sony uh, 18 to 105 lens, which has in lens stabilization. The image stabilization on the ZV-E10 is just in standard. I think the stabilization in this lens is actually better then the stabilization in the uh, kit lens. Hold that all the way out like that. I've got this all the way extended. Oh, that's more comfortable. I have the Sony grip. I've actually found a more comfortable position for my hand to hold this with. Now I'm gonna do the uh, rolling shutter test. Yep, I can definitely see that. Yep, but again, don't, don't let this be a deterrent for not buying this camera. This camera is way more than this rolling shutter. I mean, who films like that? Just normal pans like that. Walk a little bit. Check out the stabilization. Yeah, I think the uh, stabilization in this uh, and this lens is better than the uh, kit lens. And just by the way, I'm using the onboard audio. Let me zoom in something real quick. Check out that stabilization. I'm all the way out at 105 millimeters now. That stabilization is damn good to me. That's nice. This is almost like tripod level. And my hands are, my arms are not super, super, super stable. You know, a little slight movement, but this, this lens is holding up really nice. Okay, planes messing with my audio. I really like this lens. I may keep this on here on the ZV-E10 95% of the time. Well, I, th I think I made a good choice with this uh, 18 to 105 lens. I like it. Well, my battery is getting low on this camera right now and again this has been just a uh, test of the kit lens the 16 to I'll, I'll put it on the screen and the 18 to 105 uh, lens that I picked up uh, along with the uh, ZV-E10 and I hope you enjoyed this video 
if you uh, like seeing video videos like this, go ahead and uh, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.